So guys, this is how I prepare for a late May frost or mid May frost that we're expected to get in my zone, zone 60. I am very disappointed because I already have plants in the ground, directly grown, growing in the ground. And those are my seedlings that I grew for three, four months and they're now in the ground. So I have to protect them right here as you can see with the buckets, five gallon buckets. I just turn them over the plants that I think are going to be affected by the frost. I have here some frost cover that I put over my blueberries and my strawberry beds. I tried my best and I cover it the best way I can. And this right here is the frost cover. I had this here for last year and I was going to do some rolls with this and make covers for my plants when there's a frost so I guess I get to use it now so this is what it looks like my garden looks a whole mess because nothing's organized in here and I'm in almost panic mode trying to protect the plants that I have grown in the ground that might be affected by the frost that we're going to be getting tonight back here I have also covered my tropicals the ones that I can cover I'm not worried about the brassicas I have growing here because they're fine they can handle the frost really well and this is my covered tropicals they have already bloomed and there are tiny fruits on them and I use that frost cover to cover them I covered my um, strawberries that I have growing here in these planters. And now I'm doing this because of what happened to me with my peaches this year. I won't be getting any peaches. This right here is some sweet potato I have planted in these planters. My guava is right here. I just put a grow bag over the top of it. I just covered pretty much what I can, however I can. Whatever I have available to me, that's what I covered it with. And these five gallon buckets came in pretty handy because some of the stuff I was able to just keep it in place right where they were at and just put the bucket over it. So this is it. This is my more of my tropicals, my passion fruit, my lemongrass, some ginger I have in those planter and I just tucked it in my shed. So hopefully they'll be fine. This is my dragon fruit right here and my palm granite is over in the corner here. I am hoping that this is the last of the frost so I can concentrate on growing my food outdoors.